Hello children. Today we are going to cover the topic. You might have heard about the natural resources. So you uh, today you are going to get how to manage these uh, natural resources. So the topic is management of natural resources. As you very well know, the common natural resources are soil, water. air etc so if i introduce this topic uh, let me introduce in a way that uh, we have often heard or read about the environmental problems these are often global level problems and we feel helpless to make any changes there are international laws and regulations and then there are our own national laws and acts for the environmental protection there are national and international organizations which are working for managing the Uh, global problems national and international organizations also working towards the protecting protection of our environment the uh, if i give you an example the multi crore project of ganga action plan came about in 1985 uh, as the quality of water in the ganga was so poor so this way we can say that natural resources they are must for our livelihood and we should manage them and on our behalf we can manage them individually we can save them but uh, on the behalf of nations and other countries there are uh, national and international organizations working for this now if i talk about the pollution of ganga The Ganga runs its course of over 2500 kilometers from Gangotri in the Himalayas to Ganga Sagar in the Bay of Bengal. It is being turned into a drain by more than 100 towns and cities in Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal that pour their garbage and excreta into it. In addition, pollution is caused by other human activities like bathing. Well, there are many uh, causes of pollution. They are bathing washing clothes ashes from the industries unburnt matter etc and then industries also contribute chemical effluents to the ganga's pollution load and toxicity kills fishes in large sections of the river coliform is a group of bacteria found in human intestine whose presence in water indicates contamination by disease causing microorganism so if we uh, if you want to confirm the pollution in any type of water or in any river the presence of coliform can be used for the detection of the pollution because it is a group of bacteria whose presence in water indicates a contamination by disease causing microorganism now central pollution board is situated at delhi which is working for the pollution so central pollution board it is situated at delhi and working for control of the pollution in our country there are 3 r's principle 3 r's means 3 r's principle means R one R second R and the third R. The first R is meant for reducing, that is reduce. Second R is meant for recycle. Third R is meant for reuse. Now, if I define these three R's, if we are following these three R principle, we are uh, contributing ourselves in solving the global level problems of pollution and many other problems. now reduce means to use less we can save electricity by switching off unnecessary lights and fans we can save water by repairing leaky tap recycle means that we can collect plastic paper glass and metal items which required things instead of synthesizing or extracting fresh plastic paper glass or metal in order to recycle we first need to segregate our waste so that the material can be recycled and is not dumped along with other waste now third r is meant for reuse This is actually even better than recycling because the process of recycling uses some energy. In the reuse strategy, we can simply use things again and again. So reduce means we can reduce, we can less use the things, 
Recycle means as many things can be recycled, we should recycle them and can, they can be transformed into new articles. Reuse means we can reuse the recycled items. This way we can control the pollution on our behalf. Thank you.